Okay. Right. <coughs> Shorthand dictation. Uh, Hundred words per minute. Ten minutes speed. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Now write down, gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to extend a warm welcome to you all to this seminar. I know that all of you present here today have rich experience in the field of education. The present system of education. had been evolved several decades ago i am sure therefore that all of you will have felt the need for changing the system to suit to the changed conditions of our society your rich experience in the field will go long way in evolving a new pattern i am confident that you that you will be able to contribute your considered views to overcome the difficulties we are facing today if you apply your mind seriously you will be able to evolve a system of education that suits to our requirements today i know that it will not be possible to bring about any information immediately but with your cooperation i am sure it could be done in the near future in this context i may tell you that either the government or the university has only to look upon learned men like you and nobody else you have great responsibilities towards the betterment of the educational system at this seminar you are at liberty to discuss all the aspects of education without any reservation i hope that with the freedom you have you will freely voice your feelings so that the standard of education in the country could be improved all your opinions in this regard would be considered at a higher level and final decisions taken for implementation i request every one of you to put your heart and soul into the problem and put your views in writing so that we could publish them as a proceedings of this seminar as you know i visited some of your colleges very recently then more than enjoying your hospitality i enjoyed the freedom and frank discussions you had with me i learned many things from you it is only then that i thought of a seminar of this type where all of us could come together and discuss the problems facing us in a free atmosphere now let us have a rapid review of the developments that have taken place during the past two or three decades in this regard a number of committees were set up although the findings of those committees were very valuable they were found to contradict one another so it was not possible to come to any conclusion therefore what i wish now is that all of you put your heart and sold together and suggest the lines 
on which the future education policies of the country should be based in this connection we would have to take into account the ever increasing number of students seeking admission into our schools and colleges which has resulted in a fall in the standard of education we have to consider whether higher education should be made available to all or only to the talented on the teaching side the methods adopted are very old a dedicated teacher and the willing student from very good partners in the process of learning so all the necessary aids should be made available to the teachers and the students the next point that we have to consider is the system of examination in the opinion of many eminent men the present system of examination only tests the memory of students and not their talents by means of examinations we should be able to recognize their talents in many of the foreign universities objective type of questions are introduced this needs teachers who are dedicated and students who are keen in learning the teacher would have to prepare proper questions and also make a correct assessment of the answers on account of the increase in the number of students and the limited number of trained teachers the method cannot be introduced in our country however we have to review and reform our examination system in this connection it would be appropriate for us to consider the views of students also this would leave a deep impression in the minds of the students and make them realize their responsibilities towards the society and the nation sir it was reported in your columns just two days ago that there was some labor unrest in one of the private factories in the city it was also reported that the police had to resort to firing to bring the situation under control as a result it was said that two workers died and several others were injured why do such situations arise in the industrial sector i am also an industrial worker living close to that factory i understand that there are two unions in that factory whose leaders are ideologically opposed to each other each of the leaders has a large section of workers supporting him this has helped the management whenever the labor unions put forth their demands the management takes advantage of the situation as the demands of two unions will be different the management always turns down the demands the union leaders will not unite and consequently the workers suffer when this state of affairs continue indefinitely the labor force losses its patience some day for some simple reason the two groups start fighting the situation may call for police assistance and lead to all sorts of misery to workers all this could be avoided if every industry and every factory has only one labor union such unions would be strong and could negotiate effectively with the management to get 
maximum benefits to the workers both in terms of money and facilities even strikes could be legal and peaceful the police the public and the legislators would all sympathize with them the management would be helpless it would then be compelled to exceed to the demand of the workers substantially further if workers effectively participate in management with a sense of dedication the workers themselves the industry and the nation would all prosper yours